Good morning to all my awesome followers and anyone that happened to stop in today. We're going to be talking about Grandma's Garden in the Backyard. These beautiful flowers you're seeing here are love in a myth. I had a lot of people commenting what they were. They're one of my favorite, favorite flowers in my garden. I love them. They grow from seeds and where they originally came from was probably one of those boxes of mixed seeds from Dollar Tree. That's the only way I can figure they ever became established in my garden. They are so beautiful and because I didn't know what they were for probably almost six months, I went to several nurseries and asked them what the, the name of this flower was. Nobody knew and the few that did give me an answer gave me the wrong answer. So I went out and started researching what these flowers were. And when I went on the internet, I found out it's called Love in a Mist. Are they not beautiful? They are so gorgeous. And you see how beautiful these flowers are? Wait until you see the seed heads. The seed heads are even prettier. I don't have any that have went to seed yet. But as soon as I do, we'll do an update on these beautiful, beautiful flowers. And as you see, they're more than one color and different ones look different. They are so beautiful. And I know the leaves look real pokey, but they're not. They're soft. You can touch them with your hands. They're not going to scratch you or anything. They're just so delicate, so beautiful. And usually they look even prettier than this. But usually they start blooming out around February and I think they've come too late this year and it's too hot for them. But there's always next year. And then of course there's my sweet peas. I have sweet peas all over my yard and I love them so much. And as you can see my flowers are all mixed in with my sweet peas because I plants are mostly grown by seeds in this area so they're all mixed up in there together and we also have our food garden in here and as you're going to start seeing in a lot of these updated pictures where my sweet peas are at or where my blackberries and raspberries are at I don't know if you look carefully in all those sweet peas, you're going to start seeing some raspberries and blackberry leaves poking out. Now those are dangerous and pokey. So I just thought I would share. So right now, if you look carefully, you'll see those, I don't know if those are the blackberries or the raspberries, but both of them have all kinds of pokey stuff on them and they'll scratch you for sure. When I'm out there, when they get going, I have to wear my long sleeve shirts and my heavy duty pants because they will cut me up. But as you can see, I remember telling you in one of my other videos, all you see right now are flowers, but pretty soon you're going to see a food garden out there. There's things out there growing. You just can't see it through all the beautiful flowers. And look at all my beautiful California poppies. And they're usually prettier too. They're just not blooming right now because I took these pictures of the crack of dawn. But the sweet peas are probably going to be dying back here probably the next couple of weeks or month. And the same with my California poppies. And as soon as that happens, it'll start looking pretty sad back there. But then we'll have all kinds of food production plants and we'll start filming them. So my garden has lots of purposes and a lot of it is that I want it to be beautiful. And I let my things just go to seed. When those... Uh, California poppies start looking really bad instead of just pulling them out like a lot of people do I just let them look bad and just let them go to seed and the same with all my um, sweet peas uh, I will let all those go to seed and uh, those sweet peas that fence behind it is five feet high and as you can see those sweet peas are almost going to five feet the only thing that I should have done this year and I probably will do next year I will probably put some tomato cages out there for support now here's some of my blackberries or raspberries. I don't know which they are. I can't tell. But uh, they're both out there. So there's a little difference in the color of the flowers. And uh, these ones here are pink. And I think the other ones are white. I think I took some pictures when the other one was blooming. Uh, 
so there's just a lot of I have like a forest jungle out there and uh, that's the whole point of this whole art part I read somewhere watched a bunch of videos of people that had food forests that everything just let it go and and come up on its own and that's sort of what I'm trying to do I'm trying to get things to reseed themselves in this area and it's all a giant experiment because grandma has no clue what she's doing and I'm not definitely not a gardener like a lot of these people that know every name of their plants half the time I don't know what I have uh, until they actually put fruit on and sometimes I call it something that I shouldn't be calling it like my golden berries there's another name for it but the original plan I bought said golden berry at um, Lowe's and that name just stuck in my brain and so that's what I've always called them and uh, I've, I've heard some other names but who knows but anyway they're another one of my favorites we'll talk about that next week but um, I just wanted to share my flower and food garden because I'm sure a lot of people thought well what food items does she have in there all I see are flowers oh no there is plenty there's tons of stuff in there you just can't see it because right now everything's blooming up and um, most of the flowers I have will be dying back pretty soon uh, especially the sweet peas and the California poppies for some reason everything oh and this believe it or not it's a very bad picture these pink flowers believe it or not that's a radish seed and that's a radish plant coming to seed to um, uh, make me some more radishes now this big old plant here is just about done I'm about ready to cut it back now but and when I cut it back I'm not gonna throw it away I'm gonna cut it back and lay all the cuttings on the ground and let it all decompose and help those plants come up next year but this is a radish plant too and this doggone seeds uh, thing went up about five feet because it went up to the top of that fence and that's yellow and so last year I had some yellow flowers off of my radishes a pink and white so um, who knew that radishes had so many beautiful flowers and so many different colors and I would have sworn the radishes were the same radishes and had two different colors I would have sworn I had them on the same the same seed pack but I know I've showed you pictures when this plant looked better with all the beautiful yellow flowers on it but I'm sure nobody thought they were radishes seeds and that's what I do I let all my plants go back to seed I have some other plants that we're going to be seeing today that are going to seed right now that we did eat off of and I am not a radish lover but I love that's why I love YouTube I watch a lot of garden videos and somebody was mentioning if you bake or fry radishes they don't taste the same as raw ones well you know grandma well let's see if this is true so I did that do you know if you bake radishes they don't take radish taste like radishes at all anymore they sort of taste I don't know sort of like a potato and something else so I have made some recipes now and I will start making some more once my radishes get going again and it doesn't take that long to get radishes going there's some more my pink radish seeds aren't they pretty I just love them I don't know why my they're out of focus for some reason oh and look at this does anybody know what this is this is an eggplant and look at the beautiful flowers they have and it's in a container and uh, so we're gonna see it looks like it's gonna have tons and tons of eggplants these are the smaller eggplants I really don't like the great big ones I like the smaller ones because it's just me and grandpa it's easier to prepare meals with the smaller ones and I love the taste of them and that's a great thing about gardening you put in your garden what you like now this is in terrible shape this here is a blueberry and I think it needs some fertilizer or something it just doesn't look very healthy at all this year but you know when you can't get anywhere you just do the best you can but we'll get it healthier for next year now believe it or not these strawberries have been growing in this container probably about three or four years so they didn't just get in there but I noticed this year that I got a lot of runaway uh, strawberries that I missed I've dropped some seeds naturally because I didn't plant them down there and at the base of this container where these strawberries have been for the last three or four years I have some more strawberries on the ground now so I assume this whole little area eventually is going to be strawberries and that's fine with me I love oh there's another one isn't it cute 
I love seeing what nature does all by itself without my help. And it just had a gay old time back here with the strawberries. And that's fine too, like I say. And these are carrots. And we've already talked about these carrots. They grew from seeds from last year. And now they're going to seed for this year. I can't wait to see. And this sounds crazy to some of you gardeners that go are very serious about their gardens. I'm just more serious about doing this the let everything go natural. And that's probably a bad decision on my part. But I don't care. It's my garden and I can do it any way I want. I just love seeing all the variety, all the color. And I never know where anything is going to come up. And I think that's what makes me the happiest about my garden. Because it's a food forest. I have to really go out there and look to find the food. But it's out there. And it brings me so much joy. Just to go look at all the wild parts of this yard. Because it is wild. Even though it's right in the middle of the city. And yes, I did plant seeds in this garden originally. But I let things go to seed and let them go. The only thing I probably wish I hadn't put in here is the blackberries and raspberries. Because you're going to see they are going to become massive. And they are just too big and too scratchy and too thorny. I think that's the only thing I don't like about them. If, and I and I and when I bought them, it said thornless. Ah, lie. Those things are full of thorns. 